Hi everyone, it's Natasha. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and watching my videos. So I want to do a one year review on my Louis Vuitton Turin in the PM size. And this is what it looks like. That's the front right there with, um, I don't know what it's called, a huge tab with the heat stamp on there. It says Louis Vuitton Paris. Um, this other side, the back the other side and the bottom right there and as you can see these are um, two separate canvases so that is why on the sides oh, I'm sorry on the sides right here you see the monogram facing up and in the bottom they are facing against each other if it was just one whole canvas then um, one one of the sides the monogram would be looking down and the front side that they consider the front would be looking up. It looks stuffed because it is stuffed. Let's see. I have my stuff in there as well as straps. Let me take that off. Okay, so my one year review of this. Um, I This is definitely my favorite a small crossbody bag. And um, I love it to death when it comes to that. When it comes, I, I have used this in all four seasons. I've used this in the fall, winter, spring, and in um, summer. Definitely when you are wanting to downsize and wanting to have a smaller bag during that day, this is definitely for me my perfect bag because it fits everything that I need. Um, I'm hoping because I, I'm going to be a first time mom, I'm hoping that when the time comes next year, I'm still going to be able to use this when I want to downsize um, because I've never been a mom before and I don't know if, um, you know, I'm going to need a bigger bag. But I am I really would prefer to be able to use this bag at least, at least every year. <laughs> so it comes with two straps. Now I have a story about this strap. This has been replaced by Louis Vuitton. Um, complimentary because I believe it was this one, the shorter strap, you have to attach it. You can't just um, use one of the straps because the end of the, of the long one right here, it won't really, you need to, you need to, you need to attach it to the, the shorter one because the shorter one also has one hook on one end. The long one has one hook as well. So, um, when I had this bag for less than a year, a few months ago, and I do have um, a video of that, that, um, and I will, I will make sure it's linked down below. If not, it, you know, it's in my channel. Um, so I'm just a little bit sweaty. I was trying to look if um, you could see any sweat. There's none on there. I'm just, oh my gosh, it's just kind of warm. I don't know why. But um, anyway, so. Um, one of the straps had a few cracks on there. The story for that is, is, um, I don't know how the cracks happened because it wasn't like, it's not like when I use my bag, I like scrunch it up or, or, or like, I don't know, squeeze it too tight. I'm not doing any of that. So for whatever reason, there was like two, three or four scratches on there. Um, when you take a picture of it, it just kind of looks like wear and tear and like lines on there, but it wasn't. When you look at it in person, it does look like a crack. It was, um, it was still kind of like a hairline crack, but you know, when you have cracks on leather, if you don't know, that will never heal. That will never like seal back. That will just predominantly get worse through wear and tear. So, um, what I did was I contacted Louis Vuitton Client Services, which is their 800, uh, 888 number, I think, on their website, and I asked for advice on what to do. Because of the backstory of this bag, I had to ship it to my nearest store, which is in Chicago and Michigan Avenue. Um, I UPSed it. It cost me a lot of money because I didn't want to risk it in case... It got lost and I did have an instance with UPS that um, it did get lost and they suggested to UPS it. It arrived the very next day. I got a call from them. Um, they were very lovely about it and they said they were going to assess it and check it out and see what's going to happen. 
And after that, when they assessed it, they said that they were going to replace the strap. The everything else looks fine. And they said, if that's okay. And I said, yeah, that's okay. The only, because it's detachable. Like if it was, if it was like this part or like a huge crack on the canvas, then I would probably, you know, be like, um, yeah, I think I need a new bag. But it was like this teeny tiny part of the strap, the shorter strap. I was fine with it and I told them that. And I said, you don't even have to change the other part of the strap, but I think they had to because it's, it's a set or something. I'm so um, the only thing they, they replaced was the strap because it's detachable. Everything else, this is still the original bag that I had. Um, and it does look kind of cute and small, you know, but don't be deceived by it because it is tapered and it, it can fit a lot. And I do have comparison videos of it or what it can fit. So if you're interested in this bag, it is still for sale. Not by me, I'm keeping mine, but it is still for sale, brand new from Louis Vuitton. So it will be, you know, an easy purchase if you want to go get it brand new. Anyway, so they replaced it. Um, they were very lovely about it. It took a few weeks and then they reached out to me um, as soon as they, they had the replacement or something. And then um, if it was a Monday, they wouldn't want to ship it unless they touched base with me just to make sure that I will be home on the day that's gonna arrive. So when I did call them back, it was already like four or five o'clock. I was like really busy that day and I didn't see any voicemail, I didn't hear my phone ring. So when I did and when I did call them back and touch base with them, that's what they told me. So let's just say that was a Monday. They shipped it out the next day verified everything my information so it arrived on Wednesday they overnighted it um I did leave my bag there as well for that time frame because I thought you know I'm never gonna use this bag without the strap I'm never gonna do that so I just told them you know you guys can hold on to it and then just ship it together I'd rather you guys do that than get two separate shipments and I'm not gonna be able to use my bag anyway so that's what happened um other than that and that was a that was a complete defect and you know when you have when you have a Louis Vuitton item and it starts to have like certain flaws especially within one year or less than a year of purchase or use you need to contact them as soon as possible because time is very sensitive with them and if you even miss like a week or a month or something from their time frame that they believe that that is how long that they can give you um, an exchange or something in the courtesy or of like, you know, replacing a part or getting something repaired for free, then you're going to miss out. So, you know, do not just say, oh, I'm just going to go there next month. And no, don't ever do that. Don't ever like just hold on to it for a month or something. You have to contact them right away make sure it's on record. Make sure they're aware that there's something wrong with the, with the um, item that you have. And um, so it can, you know, and be diligent with it. Don't just complain about it and then not do your due diligence and take it to the store or contact them and, and ask them, do I need to ship it to the store? I mean, I'm very far from a store. What do I need to do? Ask client services for advice and then um, contact your store, all that stuff, get directions from them because then if something happens, then it's gonna be their fault because they're the ones that gave you step-by-step -step instructions on what to do. That's exactly what I did with mine. I even gave them a letter with it. So, um, pros and cons of the bag. Um, I think my only biggest con is the width of the strap. Because I tend to bring my iPad mini with me from time to time, it will tend to get heavy and it will dig in my shoulder. It never does leave any kind of marking, um, but it tends to kind of dig in and I don't really like that. It's a little bit uncomfortable from time to time. So there are times in which I will, I will use this bag and I don't use, um, I don't bring my iPad mini with me. I would prefer to bring it with me, but there, I mean, there are also certain times in which I feel like I'm not gonna use my iPad mini, mini with me anyway. 
if I'm if I'm running certain errands, if I'm going to be going out in certain situations, and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use it. So there's no point in bringing it with me anyway. So that's my only con is the strap is a little too thin. This could be a little bit wider. And this is the reason why I didn't want to get the MM or the GM. Because when I did have this, you know, when I, I, I mean, I love it still to death. I was thinking because it's so beautiful, the design is so beautiful and I love it so much. And I don't need an organizer with it. You know, it's just... It has pockets, it, it, it has a structured bottom, so everything is just not like a dark hole, like a Speedy. I did think about probably getting it in the GM size because um, I think that MM was just a little bit bigger than the PM to me. So I thought I was gonna get the GM and it was on my wish list. But if you guys don't know, I'm always, the way I shop, I'm always thinking, 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 like a million different scenarios if I'm going to enjoy it or not. I really don't want to regret any purchases. Um, so at a certain point, researching and going through a lot, and um, when I had that kind of issue, I'm thinking, well, the GM is going to be bigger, and I'm probably going to put a lot more stuff in there, so it's going to weigh more down it's gonna dig even worse because of the straps. So I decided if I wanted to get something bigger, I'll just make sure the strap is thicker. And I thought, you know what? Um, because I did get this before I got my Speedy 30 Bentier, I thought, well, if that's the case, then maybe I'll just go ahead and get a Speedy 40, which is comparable, I think, in size to the Turin GM, but the strap is thicker. So um, I'm still on the fence whether I wanna go with the 35 or directly to the 40. I'm not sure wh which one yet, but I do have both of those on my wish list, And I have thought of maybe just, it's different per day. There'd be days in which I would be thinking, I'm gonna get the 35. And then I'm gonna look at it, research it, look at videos, look at forums and stuff, compare the sizing and I'm going to be like, okay, I, I want to get this instead of the 40 first. And then I'll, the next day I'll probably get like a 35 versus a 40 comparison video, um, or anything in relation to just the 40. And then I'd be like, I think I might need a 40 and not a 35, you know, like that kind of, that kind of struggle and debate is still in my head all the time when I do think about this a Speedy 35 or a 40, I really don't know which one to go with because I am gonna get an organizer. And if you guys have seen my other videos in regards to my Speedy 30, you do lose a little bit of room when you do add an organizer in there. So I'm a little bit worried about that because frankly, I don't know and I don't, I mean, I've seen the 35 and the 40 in person. I don't remember. You know, you're not going to memorize exactly how it's going to feel and how it's going to look and how much it's going to fit. So, I don't know. I'm thinking right now, 50-50, 35 or 40. And it's always going to be in the monogram and it's always going to be the Bentier. If the, there's a Speedy 35 or a Speedy 40 in which the Viquetta is going to be replaced with their black leather, I'll probably get that one. So, um, but I know I kind of drifted off from there, from the true NPM. So, um, as you can see, this is a year old and granted, I haven't used this in every day for one whole year, but I can assure you I have used this at least, at least several, like at least majority of the majority of the 12 months. Okay, so um, I mean, I'll probably use this for like a few days and then switch up to a different bag. And then a couple weeks later, I'll switch it back to this and use this for a couple weeks, you know, stuff like that. That's just how I do with my bags. I don't really, I mean, until now, I'm, and, and before that with the Speedy and before that with this one too, there would be times in which I would use a bag for a few days. But they're also, like this one too, I did also use this for like three months straight last year. 
So, um, the only problem I had was the short strap, the inside. It looks like it has glitter on it, but when you do look at it in person, you can't really see that. But I've noticed that when it is in camera, it looks like it has some kind of shimmer, which is so beautiful in front of a camera. But when you are looking at it, like right now I'm looking at it, it just looks like um, deep, dark purple. And of course, it has this big flat pocket here. And you have two smaller pockets on the op opposing side. You have the heat stamp in here. Um, you have a tiny D-ring over here. I don't have any issues with my lining. And I'm very good in keeping a lot of things inside smaller bags to put in my big bag because I like things to be organized. I know there are a lot of people that think that that's kind of crazy and stupid because you're essentially putting more bags into a bag. You know, everybody's, everybody's personality and everybody's preferences are different. I prefer mine to be um, more organized, so that's why I do that. And I don't like clutter and I don't like things to just be out of the, I mean, to just be everywhere. I want, I want to know where item A, item B, item C are. So I do categorize them and put them in specific, in specific um, smaller containers. Um, other than that, it has patinaed a little bit. If you can see that it looks a little darker in person than on the camera or it could just be the it could just be the sunlight right now it's kind of setting already so it's not very bright I don't know it could just be the Sun but um, this is some a little bit of water stain right there which you know when you do have your Louis Vuitton brand new it does kind of hurt like to me it does kind of hurt but after you've had it for a while and after the first time you ever have any kind of a watermark or anything, I'm just like, Ugh, whatever, you know, it's mine and it will make it more distinguished that way. Um, I don't, um, the canvas is still really beautifully perfect, which, you know, that's what a canvas is really going to do. That's why I do prefer the canvas from Louis Vuitton compared to any other material because it is tougher than any kind of uh, leather out there. It doesn't matter if um, it's Chanel, if it's Gucci, if it's Prada, it's canvas is still going to be the toughest one. It's still going to be the one that will look the best after how many decades of use. Um, that's just from my opinion and my personal experience. I have seen Prada, you know, that that it's not like displayed in the house, that it is really used the way I use my Louis Vuitton bags. It's heavily used and you, it wears and tears faster than a Louis Vuitton. I mean, I'm comparing it to something that's a Louis Vuitton item that have existed before I was even born, you know? So that's just my, that's my experience and my opinion. So, um, I do have like a few stains here and there. I try to do maintenance from time to time, but you know, there are going to be times in which it's going to slip and it's not going to be perfect all the time. But if you can see, it looks pretty good. It looks uniformed at least. It's not like it has one of those um, dirty stains or anything. These are watermark stains and that's just what's going to happen through time and I don't know if you could see that but I don't know if you guys can see it yeah you guys can't see it but for my for for me here um, this is lighter here than where the stitching is and that was my fault that was my fault and my usage and all that stuff so there's nobody else to blame but me would I recommend this bag yes very much so um, I would I did try the Pochette Matisse. I'm really glad that um, I think when I bought it, I did return it right away. Um, I don't remember if I found out about it before I bought it. I have right after I bought, bought it and I got it after. I, I don't really remember, but I saw some people showing 
issues with their Brochette Matisse. But what I do remember is that had nothing to do with returning the bag because when I was putting things in there, it just, it just wasn't enough room for me. And the Turin PM does. I mean, look at, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna stand up and I am nine and a half months pregnant. <laughs> so I am due in two weeks, or I mean, it's safe to deliver from now until two weeks, but this is how big the bag is. You know, I'm gonna move a little bit further so you can see what it looks like if I had it here. It is kind of cute and small. I don't have a 25 and I don't think I ever will get a 25 speedy due to the fact that the zipper is not gonna be as long as a turn PM. And I think the size of the speedy 25, um, I've never had a straight answer from anybody that has a speedy 25 um, or the turn PM. They, I've never met anybody that has both, I guess that they, all they do is assume, oh yeah, I think it fits the same amount with the Speedy 25. And I've, ha I've had people say, oh, the Speedy 25 can fit a little bit more. And I've had people saying the Turin PM fits a little bit more than the Speedy 25. To be quite honest, if it's just a little bit of difference, I'm not gonna get it. And that wasn't even it. I thought the Speedy 25 is so adorable and so cute and so tiny, however, the zipper is probably like this big or this long. And you would have to maneuver so many things going in and out. This has a wider opening, which I really, really like. And that is one of the other reasons for my Speedy 30 that I kind of don't like because even the 30, I feel like the zipper is a little tight as well. So um, would I recommend the Turin PM? Yes. If you're interested in a Turin MM or a Turin GM, just make sure um, when you are putting a lot of things and there are, there have been people that have told me that the strap doesn't bother them at all and they stuff it with um, heavier things. They put laptop, they put um, laptop, um, I, uh, the big iPad as well at the same time and um, water bottles that are, they're not empty all at the same time, okay? A laptop, an iPad, a water bottle, um, and other stuff in there, in their MM and the GM, and they don't think that it's digging on their shoulders. So, you know, it's, it really is your preference. I guess with me, it's just maybe my shoulders right here is just maybe a little soft and very sensitive that um, I just put, you know, one big electronic and it already kind of I can already feel it digging and I, it's uncomfortable for me when I'm running my errands so when I'm doing certain things that I know I'm not going to be using my iPad mini I just don't bring it with me when I'm using my trend it's it doesn't bother me when I'm using my speedy Bentley 30 though um so that was why I just excuse me I decided not to get the trend GM for me, for my lifestyle, especially right now, I feel like the Trend PM is the perfect size for me. I'm really glad that I got the PM instead of the MM because the MM is a little bit bigger and I would have been I would have probably wanted to put more things or probably because I would probably put my iPad mini more often then it would really dig on my shoulder and I would probably start to hate it at some point. Um, and I would still need a smaller size bag for compact days that I would, you know, like warmer days, which is kind of fewer, fewer nowadays because it is going to fall. But um, I don't know. I do love this bag. I have used this. I have used this in a, in like heavy snow. Um, I think my husband took a picture of me before and I don't know where that picture is anymore, but, um, yeah, it was, it was last winter and he took a picture of me and it was like, I had, um, my fur coat with me that had a hoodie on 
and I was walking through the parking lot. The whole entire lot was covered in snow. The ground was covered in snow, and I had this bag with me. And um, yeah, this has, I mean, just imagine, this has been through four seasons, and the Vaquita is beautiful. Um, the bag is beautiful. I don't have any issues with it. The only problem I had, Louis Vuitton already solved for me. They were really lovely about it. And um, yes, I do recommend the Turan in any size. I'm not gonna repeat myself about the strap anymore. Um, other people, th these are gonna drive them crazy. I've heard a lot of people say that this, the, the twirling of it drives you, them crazy. It doesn't really bug me. Um, what I've noticed though is that there's a little bit of, there's some tarnish on my hardware right here. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Yeah. There's some tarnish on both sides of the hardware. And that is friction from the hook. And that's going to happen um, in any bag that has this type of design that has a detachable strap. That was That's always going to happen. What I've also noticed... Maybe not for this particular bag, but with I think my Speedy, that the because I would use a bag charm on it very often on here and here, that it does tarnish very fast. And I believe that I did put the my bag charm in on here most of the time because I like to wear this was phasing outwards, and I would wear my bag this way or with a strap this way. And I like my bag charm right here because it was right here. It was like in my way and it was kind of annoying me a lot. So that was also another thing why I stopped using bag charms because I just didn't like that it tarnished my hardware really quickly. So um, this kind of tarnish, if you didn't use any kind of bag charm, I think that you probably won't see the tarnishing for like a longer, longer time, probably at least two, three years down the line, not just within a year. Um, I did notice the tarnishing probably six, seven months because I was using the bag charm every time I used the bag. When I did um, figure that out, I took the bag charm off and I haven't used bag charms ever since. Um, I also don't use them in my other bags anymore because of that. I might use it on my No Way because I can I can hook it on the leather part and not the um, the hardware. Um, I don't know what else. So the, the stitching here is still intact. The stitching in the bottom is still intact. So for one year of this bag, um, and heavy usage too, I don't, I don't baby this at all. I don't put like a bag over it when it's raining. I've, I've, I've seen people do that. I don't know why they do it. I don't do that at all. I've, I've used this in like pouring rain. I'm, it's not exaggerated because when I went in the store, my clothes were stuck to my body. Like I was hosed down. So yes, I have used it in all sorts of weather. And I really love this bag. It's just, you know, my... Um, I don't have a lot of tiny bags. I've used this at a wedding. So what I've noticed is if I want, because the, the small clutches is too small for me, for my personal preference. So what I've kind of decided is if I go to like, you know, a formal dinner, a fancy dinner, stuff like that, this is gonna be my accessory. This is gonna be my small bag. It's gonna be bigger than most bags, but you know what? I have all my essentials in there and that's the what matters because I don't want to go have like a teeny tiny bag and then I'd be like oh my gosh I forgot this I forgot this I forget this so anyway I know this is a lot longer than what I really anticipated but I also didn't want it to be too short just to make sure I covered everything um, if you have any questions you guys any kind of comments anything all my information is in the description box and um, if you guys want to say hi, anything. I love getting the comments. I love reading them. Um, I haven't been checking my comments in the past week due to just being so under the weather 
and it you know I didn't want to give it I didn't want to just not be able to give a hundred percent back to my responses so I haven't done that yet but I love receiving them I love reading them um, and I hope you hit the subscribe button and the like button below and join my YouTube channel family thank you guys so much for stopping by um, I really didn't expect to have to do this today but you know I'm really really glad that I did and I'm really really happy that I did I have been kind of wanting to do this for about a week and a half or something and I've just been so under the weather and I thought today you know I'm like you know what I feel really up to it I feel really good right now I'm gonna take advantage of that and so I did so this is my one year review of my Louis Vuitton Turin PM and if you don't know this only comes in the monogram canvas this does not come in the demi bean or demi azur um, there are similar designs to this. The, for the Demi Ebene, there's a Sienna. It's a little similar, but it's not the exact same bag. It's smaller. Um, so there you go. Would I, I, would I ever suggest this bag? Yes. A hundred percent. I love this bag. I love it. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.